A zine, short for magazine or fanzine, is a self-published work of text and images that can cover a wide array of topics, ranging from art, politics, spiritualism, fashion, relationships, photography, and, um, cats baking cakes? Honestly, the list of topics that zines can range from are limitless. And this is what makes them so appealing to artistic individuals who want to get their voices heard and visions seen. I went to the Long Beach Zine Fest where I was curious to learn more about these colorful and creative works. I talked to a couple zinesters and asked them, what do zines mean to you? Zines are the current ultimate expression right now. It's easy to print, they're easy to make, and you don't have to deal with a lot of publishing problems. You just get your ideas out there as soon as possible. And what's great about the zines is it's your own project and your own voice, and so you could create zines that really speak to an maybe a small audience, but an audience that uh, can really relate to you on an equal level. They capture the spirit of like DIY culture. I feel like the most rawest of work comes from zines. These can be anything. Depends on the artist. They don't have to make sense. It's usually a compilation of some like fun illustrations or something fun that makes you think. Zines are an opportunity for me to express myself as an artist independently. So I don't have to rely on any corporations or big publication companies. I can literally self-publish whatever I want, so it's pretty awesome. With zines being a great outlet for expressing creative freedom, I wanted to see how imaginative these zinesters really got. So I asked, what are your zines about? So I have a passion for storytelling, so a lot of the work I do is comics related with stories and also sloths, because I was really into like people and then how people are kind of like plants, they're all unique. So I kind of created plants and people. And then it's just basically like little illustrations of different people relaxing and with different plants. My, my focus is witchcraft and paganism because it's a lot of kind of darker topics. It's about death, it's about weird magic and stuff. People kind of get freaked out. It's more approachable when it has kind of like cute decorations or like you kind of make the coffins cuter or something. Well, much of my zines are sort of based out of queer. They're very much inspired by queer nightlife and queer culture mixed with like 90s cartoons and animes. This is an Asian American. It's a spoken word that I wrote in college. I decided to create a zine out of it and illustrate kind of each line of the poem. It's really about my experience here being Asian American and I feel like these zines give us a space to be able to tell our stories and be able to talk to each other in a safe space about being a minority, being a woman, being queer and you can see all those different people like here today. A lot of it's just like discovering new things about you because it's just like there's no real pressure in trying to make things like perfect um, and that's why I just love being in places like this like spaces like this and I've always found that like people that stop by the booths are always like the most supportive. The Long Beach Zine Fest is a perfect place to go to find vibrant fun and thought-evoking works made by truly talented individuals.